Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Seth from Fowler Customs, and today I'm going sneaker shopping in Philly with some friends of mine that don't want to be on camera. Are you okay? So the first place we went was Lapstone and Hammer, which is kind of an offshoot of City Blue in Philly. And uh, I know I've done a lot of these sneaker shopping vlogs recently, but this is the first time I've been down to Philly to go sneaker shopping in a while. I went to college in Philly, so I really like the city a lot. So I figured it'd be a good place to do a sneaker shopping vlog. Plus, like, it's got a great sneaker culture. Um, those Air Max Zeros are white, and I think they're going to get dirty really fast. Like, you can see on the lining, they're already dirty, I guess, just from people holding them and trying them on. I don't know. But uh, back to what I was saying. Um, Philly's got like a really great sneaker culture. In fact, their Facebook group is like their sneaker Facebook group is probably one of the best sneaker Facebook groups I've ever been on. It's Buy Sell Fresh Kicks Philly. Also, those Air Max 90s are kind of busted. Don't like those very much. Um, that was the first time I had seen them in person, but uh, not a fan. Um, but yeah, their their Facebook group is Buy Sell Fresh Kicks Philly. The guy who runs it actually opened up his own consignment store in Philly, and we go to that store a little bit later on. But um, back to Lapstone and Hammer. They did have a lot of good shoes, they had a good selection. Um, this was the day that the Gold 11s dropped, I think it was like a Saturday or two ago. Um, and they were still sitting a lot of places, I was surprised. Um, they still had some of these swooshless Air Jordan 1 Lows, which I really dug, but every time I've, I've been able to grab one, I just didn't really have the money to spend on them, so I didn't really want to. Um, they're nice though, I can't, I can't deny the fact that they're really nice. They do have a lot of the KDs, and there was these Curry 1 Luxes, which I mean, hey, if, if someone decided to send me them for free, like Champs or something, I wouldn't hate them, but I'm not going to spend money on them. They're just not really a shoe that I need in my life at all. They did have a lot of recent release Jordans. Um, nothing like insane, though. It was all pretty standard. They did have the, uh, the unconstructed or deconstructed Air Jordan 1s, which go for like 123 bucks. I'm not sure why they priced it like that, um, but they kind of look like Converse All-Stars, like high-top chucks, so I'm not really a huge fan. These uh, foam posits I actually kind of like. Um, I haven't picked up any foam posits in a really long time. I actually don't have any foam posits right now. Also, <laughs> the only 11 lows that they had left were a size 14, which obviously is a lot bigger than a size 9. So uh, not something I'm going to be grabbing. They had the Rihanna slides, which I showed to my girlfriend. She wasn't a, she wasn't a huge fan, <laughs> to say the least. This was the uh, consignment store that I was talking about, Common Ground in Philly. It's pretty close to Lapstone and Hammer. It's a pretty good store. They have a pretty solid collection. Um, they also have a Keymaster, which I've never actually tried, with shoes at least. Um, they had some good stuff in there, obviously, some Yeezys, they had some OVOs, things like that. Um, stuff that I really would have liked to have won. Um, but obviously, you know, since I didn't title this video, I won stuff from the Keymaster. No, I didn't win anything from the Keymaster. So me and my buddy both tried. He went for the Yeezys, um, no luck. I really think it's not so much skill as it is luck. Like, not even just the fact that, yeah, you're lucky enough to get the shoes, but I just mean, like, literally, I don't think the system will let the shoes get cashed out um, unless, like, I don't know, like a certain number of person comes through, like maybe it's like a 350th person who drives for the Yeezys are gonna get them, that sort of thing. Um, I mean, I kind of sucked at it. I was only showing the one where I almost got the OVOs, but my other couple tries were just total crap. <laughs> Um, oh, the rest the of the selection really was really pretty solid. They they had these futures, um, which I actually kind of dug when they first came out with the glow bottoms, but I never really you know really cared enough to try and get them. They had Balenciagas, which I I don't have any of them. Again, not really trying to grab them. Next, we went to Ubic. They had some really dope stuff. This store has always been a really great place to grab shoes in Philly. They usually have pretty limited releases a little bit later than everyone else, as in like they'll still have some after everyone else sells out. Um, they had a lot of good Jordans, like they had the Neymars. They had, um, they also had those low 11s, like the gold low 11s, um, which isn't really a surprise, but they did have them in good sizes when we went. They had some Air Maxes that I hadn't seen before, at least in person. Um, they had some Hirachis, they had those crazy 3D Kobe's and those new Kyrie's that just dropped when this video was being filmed. Um, you had the Soldier 10's, which, you know, I really can't tell if I like them or not. I don't want to spend the money on a pair, but uh, I'm just not sure if I like them visually. Oh, and this was like a $9,600 sculpture that was just in the, uh, just in the hallway of the store. 
They also have these really nice leather bags. Um, I actually have this really nice leather bag that I'm meaning to show you guys. I'll do like a pickup video or something and show you guys what it is, but similar quality to that. They had like this hidden Jordan wall, which I hadn't seen before, which was kind of cool. Um, some stuff that was pretty solid, actually. Um, then they had more Curry Luxes, which out of all the Curry Luxes, this would be the pair that I would probably grab just because they're the cleanest. I didn't like any of the blue or like suede stuff. I just think it's too much. Actually, the black pair is not bad, come to think of it. Um, they had some of these guys. I, I liked my pair when I reviewed them, but I mean, it wasn't Ultra Boost, let's be honest. Then, uh, there we go, we had some uncaged Ultra Boost. I have the black pair, I had the triple black pair, and then I have the gray pair. Then you had the Pharrell slip-ons, which I hated. Uh, after I finished the review, I actually ended up returning them because I just could not get them to fit right, and I just didn't really even like the way that they looked, to be honest. So, moved on from those, not turning that page again, not doing those again. Um, some pretty interesting ASICs, the marble pack, which I don't hate, I just think it's a lot going on, and I can't think of anything I'd wear it with. These guys were the Puma Discs. Um, it's a cool concept. I mean, it's not like a new concept by any means. And the colors are a little crazy. But, uh, you know, not too bad. These guys here, which I don't remember what the name of these were, but they were a pretty interesting shoe. Um, definitely different. It was like a mix between like the Jordan Futures with like a Adidas sole. It was pretty interesting. Um, then you got some Yeezy, of course. You had some Yeezy. I think it was like a crop top or something. More 11 lows sitting. Nothing crazy. Think of this guy. That guy, that, see, this, this guy fits a little small on my feet. Yeah. That's the problem. Then you had the Blackout Kyries, which is pretty dope. And then you've got the Air Jordan 1 Deconstructed, which, you know, the more I look at it, the less I hate it. But at the same time, again, like I said before, it looks like a Chuck Taylor. And I'm not going to spend Jordan prices on a Chuck Taylor. So I ended up actually picking up a pair of shoes. I'll show you later on in the video. But shout out to E the Plug. They really hooked me up. They got me half price on these shoes, which is pretty insane. It's pretty hype on those. Uh, we checked out the new Under Armour store. Um, it's basically exactly what you'd expect. It was just a like, huge athletic store. Um, it had a couple curries, you know, nothing too crazy. I hadn't actually seen the black gum version or this like weird white and black fade gradient thing. Um, they, you know, honestly, for Under Armours, they're not bad, but I'm not really looking to grab any Under Armours to rock off the court. And uh, I'm just kind of waiting on that Curry 3 to come out so I can review it and then play in it. But here's the store. Um, it was like their flagship Philly store. I don't know how big it is compared to other Under Armour stores, but it's pretty nice. And you had Status, which is a smaller sort of consignment store on South Street. Um, they had all sorts of foams. They had, you know, all these classic shoes. Um, like the Dornbecker foams. They had the Supremes. They had the Galaxies. They had the Dornbecker 3s. All sorts of stuff. Um, I thought they only come in women's sizes. This is huge. No, it's not. <laughs> You're an asshole. <laughs> Wait, Osman. Yo, these are the PSNY 10s. These ones are expensive. These are like, these are like ten thousand dollars. On Flight Club, there. Uh, these are these are customs. They're not the actual PSNY 10s. It says long? custom on the bottom. Yeah. That's annoying. Yeah, right? Those customs really bug me out. Like, I love customs, I do customs, but those ones, like, trying to sell these PSNY customs at consignment store, I wasn't a fan of that at all. But we went to this ice cream place, Max or something like that. Really good stuff. I'd never had it before. Definitely worth checking out. So these are the shoes I ended up getting. I ended up getting them for 80 bucks, which is pretty crazy, especially considering that their original retail was 160. I think the store that I got them from, they ended up being like 140 or 130 beforehand, and then I was able to get them for 80. But definitely a really clean shoe. And of course, in every bathroom, apparently it's Yeezy season, so that was dope. We went on to a villa afterwards, a villa on South Street. Um, it's one of my favorite Philly shoe stores. They've got an excellent selection. They had all sorts of good stuff. They'd find racers, Prestos, everything that you'd expect to see they had. Um, really good selection. Their clothing selection was pretty decent too. They actually had the multicolor Flynet uh, Roshi 1s, which I've always liked. I've never picked up a pair for myself, but definitely like the way that they look. Um, they had these guys here. Not a bad colorway. I really like the olive colorway. I think it's sick. I like the blackout colorway too, but you got your dad hats, you got the plug, you got panda, all sorts of just like really, uh, <laughs> really kind of current dad hats. Um, you've got your foam posits, all sorts of good stuff. You got your griffies, 
Uh, low LeBrons, which I really hate. I didn't even want to review them because I just can't stand that shoe. I just can't stand the way it feels on my foot. I don't like the way that it looks. I really don't like the LeBron 13 low. <laughs> they had some NMDs. Of course, it was the standard NMDs. Out of all the ones that dropped, kind of, like a, of the most recent NMD R1 release, that gray and red bear is the only one I consider. And then, of course, you had the top 10s, which I had these guys back in middle school and high school. I had that exact same colorway. Mine wasn't suede. It was like a leather, but those top 10s are one of my favorite shoes ever and I just I wore them to the ground and then I haven't bought them since but let's end this video right with these curry dad shoes right here as always guys thank you so much for watching please make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it subscribe to Fowler Customs if you want to see more content just like this and follow Fowler Customs in all other forms of social media